Good afternoon, YouTube people. What's the temperature? <laughs> According to this analog thermometer, it's about 98 degrees. I think maybe a little bit off. Let me fire up the temperature gun here and get a reading on the Ferris dashboard. Well, <laughs> According to the temperature gun, it's 97 and a half degrees. So uh, maybe the temperature, the analog gauge, isn't too far off. It's a hot one. And what better activity to do on a hot day than fix Ferrer's air conditioning? Ferrer's air conditioning is fixed. Um, I had no choice but to fix Ferrer's air conditioning because right now the car's a little bit landlocked. I, uh, I had to, ooh, that feels wonderful. I had to rearrange the vehicles yesterday. Um, I had to make room for that. There's a story behind that. I'll tell you about it later. But anyway, while I was uh, rearranging the vehicles, I said, well, shoot, let me test drive Ferrer's car a little bit and uh, ended up knocking his exhaust system loose. Right now, the tubing is just slipped over the fittings. They're on the manifolds. Um, I've got some stainless guillotine clamps that are on order. But uh, until they get here, um, I'm going to keep the car basically housebound. I bled the brakes, and then today I fixed the air conditioning. And as you can see, according to this analog gauge, we're coming up on 70. Fire up the temperature gun, see what the temperature gun says. The temperature gun says 67 and a half. Uh, I'll get it all the way down to at least 55. Give it a little compressor action here. There you go, coming up on 65. I know 134 has all these uh, naysayers. Ooh, 134 sucks. 134 is no good. Uh, 134, right now it feels like heaven blowing on me. Uh, 134 is available over the counter. 134 is cheap. Uh, if for some reason you need to throw a little bit of it away, uh, you're not going to hurt the environment or your feelings. And um, earlier today, uh, with the door open, remember now there's a gigantic hole in the side of Ferrer's car, and the air conditioning is having to cool all this hot air that's uh, being uh, pulled in from the outside world. Uh, I had it like running in the low 50s, and with the door closed, uh, and also running with a compressor, running a little bit faster at like highway speed, you get it down into the 40s, no problem. Um, I've never had to turn the air conditioning off during the day, but there have been times at night that it's just gotten too damn cold, and I've had to turn the air conditioning off because I was about to freeze my cartuchis off. But anyway, there's Ferris air conditioning running, yay! Ferris radiator fans running, yay! back up 
uh, because I want you all to hear this. Uh, when you shut down Ferrer's air conditioning, it makes the world's most interesting noises. Let me see if y'all can hear this. <laughs> Mine doesn't do that. Now, Fair is running this variable orifice valve, so that may have something to do with it because uh, I've got a fixed orifice tube in mine. But when you shut down Ferris air conditioning, you get all kinds of rumblings and grumblings from underneath the dashboard. Uh, it, it sounds like when you're hungry and your stomach is growling. So, uh, it's a good thing Ferris is married because, uh, like, if we drove this car on a date, you know, he'd turn the air conditioning off and, and, and the date would be like, What's the matter? Didn't you get enough to eat at supper? <laughs> Uh, gotta love the little silver cars. But Ferris air conditioning is working. And his brakes are bled. Uh, as soon as the uh, guillotine clamps show up, I'll tighten up his exhaust system. And I bought the world's cheapest dash cam. If I cannot figure out how to make the damn thing work, I'll just use this camera. But uh, I'll take some uh, videos of the car actually driving around. But uh, for the time being, I'm just going to keep it at the house. Uh, maybe I'll fire it up and blow some AC on me. Watch this space.